Hey y'all, happy Wednesday. So we are going to do our science experiment today. <laughs> welcome to, welcome to uh, Valor Academy. That's the name of our school. And so homeschool with Nancy Jo. You guys are gonna have a science experiment with us today. So <laughs> it's, it's great. And I love that um, the Holy Spirit will talk to us in ways that we can understand. So let me turn this this way and um so i will hold it up super close so that you'll be able to see it when the time comes now we talked about <laughs> this is all about um the roman soldier soaking his shield in water and so in cc last week like i said we did an experiment that was not about the shield of faith but it correlates so beautifully. That's what we're going to do. Um, they were talking about atoms and the nucleus and electrons and all of the, our science was about that stuff. And that's where I'll leave it because that is not my strong suit. And I am not a scientist. <laughs> so I will leave it at that. But the basis was that, um, so the, the question posed was, if we have, this was cups, if we have a cup of water and we add a cup of alcohol, will we have two full cups of liquid or will it be less than two or more than two? And so that was the question. We had our hypothesis and we did our research was the, or the experiment and um, then we found out. And so this is two ounces of water. And let's see, yeah, I don't know if you can really super see that. It is, there's the, the line right there. It's two ounces of water, and I have two ounces of alcohol right here. So if I pour two ounces of alcohol in the two ounces of water, will we have a four full, full four ounces? <laughs> will we have less than four or will we have more than four? And so let's just... Take our alcohol, pour it right in. Look, nothing exploded or anything. And I know that you can't see it, but there are lots of little particles. Oh, you can see it moving around in there, okay? And I'm not holding it level, so don't judge me yet. <laughs> ah, can you see the... um? <laughs> this is terrible. Let me set it back on here and then I'm going to move the phone in a minute so that you can actually see what is in here. Okay? So bear with me. I've never done this before. <laughs> I can't believe I'm doing it now. This is so unprofessional. Like nothing is perfect. <laughs> okay. But I'm not perfect. But we're going to get this point across. Okay? So I'm moving the phone. Again, bear with me, y'all. All right, I'm gonna lower this down so that maybe you can see. All right, come on, little tripod stand. Okay, we're gonna get there together, guys, I promise. Okay, this right up here is the line for four ounces. And you can see the water is well below that line. It's right there. Okay, the water is below the line. So, what actually happened is that the alcohol and water mixed together, right? And we, asked, we came out with less than <laughs> four fluid ounces. Now, the reason they tell me <laughs> that this is what happened is because the water and the alcohol are made of um, different <laughs> elements, right? And so they have different places and charges and all that kind of stuff. And so the alcohol, because of its makeup, actually filled in holes in the water 
And so even though two plus two usually equals four, in this case, it does not. And so the alcohol fills in the holes and it does increase the volume, though not all the way to four. And so I know you're thinking, what in the world could this have to do with the shield of faith and saturating the shield, saturating the leather with water? And I promise you, I'm going to explain what this has to do with anything tomorrow. But I um, appreciate you staying with me today. And I'm not Bill Nye the Science Guy or Nancy Joe the Science Girl. And um, that was hilarious. I can't believe I did that um, on video for you to see. But anyway, tomorrow we're going to tie this in. And I cannot wait for the Holy Spirit to show us what in the world I was trying to do. <laughs> Bye, y'all.